Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Johanna. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make sugar cookies. This sugar cookie is great for cutting out and does not spread during baking. But it tastes amazing. Today, I'm making an oversized cookie sandwich. To create a large cut shape cookie like this, I first draw a template and hand cut it. The template is done. Look at cut. <laughs> Let's get started making this knowledge cookie. The following ingredients are pretty simple. I have butter, 200 grams. Three hundred fifty grams of proposed flour, one teaspoon of milk powder, salt, one hundred fifty grams of icing sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a little bit of water. Combine the butter and sugar in a bowl of a standing soy use flat cook. Blend together before adding the egg to create a smooth mixture. And continue mixing until the consistency of the mixture is deployed in volume and becomes fluffy. And slap the side of the bowl two to three times during this process. And this consistency we aim for is creamy, white, fluffy. Incorporate the flour, milk powder, vanilla, and water. And water will have salt in the cookie. And if you notice, there is no baking agents in this recipe, which explains why it does not spread. Mix this on low until well combined. And don't over mix this. The dough will shrink back when baked if you over mix this. And that's it. It's the perfect. I'm wrapping the cookie dough and refrigerate it for about an hour or two to chill it. Or roll it out. Then time to roll it, cutting the cookie. And I'm it. I'm going to roll the cookie dough to the size for the template. Then I transfer the dough onto the baking mat before I cut it out to the shape. Flour dust and place the template on top for guiding to cut out the design. And if you don't like cat, you can make it into a dog, a rabbit, or chicken, <laughs> or any kind of uh, regular size of cookie cutter. And that's perfect. Trim the excess and remove the template and smooth the edges with your finger. Or use the pallet knife. Ah, voila! Uh, <laughs> this ready to bake at 350 degrees in Fahrenheit. I covered the top with the baking mat to ensure a flat, uniform surface while baking. And this baking mat provides texture and airflow. If you don't have this mat, it's okay. You don't have to cover it. It still turn out really nice. And after 20 minutes, I check it and rotate the tray and back for another 5 minutes to have a golden brown on the edge of the cookie. And I'm gonna roll it and cut out one more cut shape like this for the cookie sandwich. And after that, I will prepare icing frosting and some raw icing for decorative purpose. For the icing frosting, I use American Vanilla Icing Frosting 
this icing frosting is ideal for sandwich cookie it is dry quickly and does not make the cookie soggy the ingredients pretty simple in one and two measures it's very easy to remember <laughs> to combine the butter icing sugar in a bowl of stand mixer and a small amount of milk or hot water whip until white and fluffy yeah we just use the flat hoop to beat the heck out of it until it's light smooth and fluffy and set it aside i use the black royal icing to create an outline and same is for the face so making a cheerful face for the cat legs Ears and yeah, add some detail, but keep it simple. Now I'm gonna mix the color icing frosting to sandwich and decorate the cookie with the purple and white color. Begin piping with the frosting onto the cookie, adding more icing if you prefer. Then place the other piece on the top of the icing and Make sure they are fit properly and start piping some rosettes and make some simple flowers and place flower on the cookie yeah like that and add in some mini meringues Ooh. <laughs> I have a list of number of piping tips that I use for this recipe on the description below Initially, I wasn't sure how it turned out, but I'm really happy with the result. It's pretty cute, right? Hope you like it. Hope you like the video and try out this recipe, getting creative with it. Yeah, go wild with your imagination. <laughs> and see you on the next video. Thank you for your support and subscribe to my channel. Bye.